Oh, Stella figured it out. She just did it. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 6 p.m. Hello, Stella. How are you? Stella's been taking a nap all day. That's what the cats have been doing recently. Here's Simba. Simba's been taking a nap on the bed. And here's Boo. Boo's sleeping in one of the cat towers today. You want some pets, Boo? You want some pets, Boo? So, one other thing uh, that I did the other day that I thought might be contributing to Boo's over-grooming as I scrubbed out all the litter boxes and I refilled them with clean, fresh litter. And um, I think that's helping. I think that made uh, a difference with him. I feel like he's grooming himself less since I did that. You know, Boo likes things a particular way and he's, um, He's very sensitive. I think that's where Splash gets his sensitivity from. I think he gets it from Boo, because Boo can be, he can be very sensitive, just in different ways. Um, so that's what I noticed, because, you know, in the warm months, um, I'll normally take the litter boxes outside once a month and give them a good scrub down and then a hose down, and it's really easy to do that. But this winter has been so bad, and with all the snow, I've kind of been putting it off. So it was a little bit longer than a month since I had, like, really scrubbed them down. Um, obviously, I scoop them out on a daily basis, and I refill them with new litter um, every week. Usually, like, once a week, I'll, I'll put a whole bunch of new litter in there. Um, but... As far as like really giving them a, a good scrub down, um, it's probably been maybe two months since I've done that, which is too long. Um, you really need to do that um, at least once a month. So, so I did that, and I think that's making a, a difference with Boo and his over grooming. So we shall see. It certainly hasn't gotten much worse than it was. Um, visibly, it hasn't gotten much better either. But as far as like seeing Boo grooming himself. Um, I don't remember seeing him grooming himself as much over the past few days. Hey, Boo. How are you, Boo? Boo loves getting pets. Boo, you love getting pets? He says yes. Hey, Boo. Yeah, see? <laughs> Boo rubs up against my hand when he wants pets. Watch, let's see. Let me move my hand over and let's watch what Boo does, okay? All right, Boo, let me get up. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand, let me put my hand over here. I'll put my hand here. You want pets? Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, boo. I'll give you some pets. Here's Hydrax and Ditto. They're hanging out by the back door. I just opened the door a few minutes ago and they want some food, so I'm gonna give them some food before it gets really dark. The sun just went down a few minutes ago. I just gave Hydrox and Ditto a plate of food, so they're splitting a can of the wholehearted, I think it's chicken and turkey, and I mixed in some water, and I also gave them some herbs, some immunity-boosting herbs. The reason why I put herbs in the food for the cats is because I advocate and practice natural health. I don't talk about it very much on this channel anymore because of what's been going on over the past year. And many people who advocate and practice natural health 
are being canceled and they're being censored. Um, so to avoid that, I have not been talking about that nearly as much as I have in the past. But for anyone who is new watching these videos, that is why I put herbs in their food. And that's also why I do make raw food for the cats. So yesterday for dinner, um, Ditto and Hydrox had some homemade raw food. Today they're having some canned food. Um, the inside cats are going to have some commercial raw food. I've been kind of rotating the meals for the inside cats. Um, sometimes they have homemade raw, sometimes they have commercial raw. I do have to make uh, more homemade raw food. Probably... Um, I don't know, maybe this weekend or in about a week. Um, so that'll be good. And there's Ditto. He's just kind of waiting. I don't know what he's waiting for. Boo! Boo! That's not a scratching post. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Boo slept on the chair he was just trying to scratch all night. Sometimes he thinks it's just a giant cat bed. But I know the real reason why he likes it. He likes that chair because it has the best view of the television, right, Boo? And the only people in this house who watch television are the cats. Right, Boo? It's always nature videos. Nature videos, right? We like watching chipmunks and squirrels and birds. Right, Boo? Which is your favorite? Is your favorite the squirrels? Is your favorite the birds? Is your favorite the chipmunks? Boo, do you like watching chipmunks? Boo says, yes, chipmunks are his favorite. He says he loves them so much, they make him want to scratch on his arch. Good morning, Simba. How are you today? This is where Simba slept. This is Simba's favorite place to sleep lately. He likes to look out this window so he could see everything that goes on in the neighborhood. Right, Simba? Good morning. Simba, so fluffy. You're such a fluffy cat, Simba. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Simba. Today, the weather is supposed to get nicer. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer out today, Simba. Let's hope the sun stays out and let's hope it stays warm. Good morning, Stella. Stella's watching the patio. She doesn't see any activity on the patio right now. She's been here all morning. She's also watching birds. There's some birds eating food out of the feeder. It's about 9 a.m. right now, and Stella is sitting next to this crunchy dispenser. The cats still have not figured out how to get crunchies out of it. Like, they know where the crunchies come from, but they haven't figured out how to press the lever yet. I don't know if uh, it's because they're not strong enough, but, you know, when a cat hits you with their paw, they're pretty strong. Um, but, you know. Stella hasn't figured out how... Oh, uh-oh. What's that about, Stella? What's that about, Stella? So yesterday, I did the same thing. And a crunchy came out, and Boo was sitting on one side, and Simba was sitting on the other side. And Simba wanted to eat the crunchy, but Boo was like, no, that's my crunchy. So then Simba went back to where he was sitting and then Boo um, was walking, like, like if Simba was sitting here, Boo was like here, he was just kind of looking for more crunchies and Simba smacked him so hard. 
Simba was like mad at him. So um, Boo backed away. He didn't start anything. So there's a lot of disagreements about this crunchy dispenser. I thought it was going to solve disagreements because there's three, there's three dispensing areas. But for some reason, Stella doesn't know how to push it. Here, look, Stella, push it down. Push it down. Yeah, see? Push it. Push it down with your paw. Push it down with your paw. There. Push it with your paw. Push it with your paw. With your paw. Take your paw and push it. Push it down with your paw. Right here. We're going to learn. Ready? Here, look. Look. Stella. Come on, look. You want crunchies? I'll teach you. Look. Simba. I teach you how to do crunchies with your paw. Put your paw on the crunchies. Ooh, you got him. Good job, Simba. Here, right here. You got it. You got it, Simba. Do it again. Do it again. Here, do it again. Here, put it on here. Right here. Put your paw on it. <laughs> He's tucking his paw underneath him. You don't want to put your paw? Come on. You get the crunchies. He's purring. Can you use your back paw? No, we can't get the back paw on there, can we? Yeah. Simba. Here. Look. What's the matter, Simba? You don't want to even try? You don't want to even try, you just want to be served? 
Simba says he just wants to be served. Don't you want to get your own crunchies? Don't you want to get your own crunchies? They're right next to you. They're right next to you. You just have to press the button. Just press the button. Press the lever. You can do it. You can do it, Simba. Simba, you won't get in trouble. You won't get in trouble. You're perfectly allowed to get your own crunchies out of this dispenser. You know that, Simba, right? Here. Get your own crunchies out. Get your own crunchies out. Give me a paw. Put the paw on there. Put your paw on there. You refuse? Simba says he refuses. Oh, Stella figured it out. She just did it. Stella just did it. Oh my gosh. The thing is, is she gonna remember how to do it? Is she gonna do it again? Can she do it twice? Stella, get more crunchies. You could do it. Okay, Stella, can you do it?
Boo, are you gonna move from this chair at all? Boo has been laying on this chair all morning. He does not want to move. Boo, you want breakfast? You wanna eat some food? You wanna play? You wanna play? Want your dragonfly? I just opened up Hydrox's shelter to change um, the training pad that's on it, but I don't think I'm going to change it because it does not look as dirty in person as it does on the live stream. Sometimes it's hard to tell from the live stream. Uh, but I did want to post an update that, you know, it's been several days since I've opened up this shelter and Hydrox has not used it as a litter box at all. Here's the shelter that Ditto has been staying in, and I just took the roof off and I just lifted this K&H uh, heated cat house out, and uh, the front of it comes off with Velcro. And I took one of these training pads and I totally wrapped up the heated pet mat, and hopefully, hopefully, since it's a bigger 
training pad and it wraps around the heated pet mat. When I put the front back on, and when Ditto goes in, he's not gonna be able to uh, get this training pad out and it will protect the heated pet mat. So we'll see what happens there. And it looks like the top of the shelter just broke or just got bent, so I'm gonna just have to see about repairing this. I put the roof back on and this top piece, um, it's in here, it's kind of wobbly, um, but for now it should be good enough. It's not affecting uh, the heated cat house inside of it. However, we do have a winter casualty and that would be Hank. This is what's going on with Hank. He's now in two pieces. His colors have faded a lot um, and his feet broke off. So I am going to dispose of Hank. Thank you, Hank. You've been a great friend to Hydrox and Ditto. The reason why I am going to dispose of him, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a whole bunch of bugs that have made their home in there. So he must've been cracked for a while. And there's also a bunch of bugs that have made a hole in there. So I'm not gonna clean him out. I'm just gonna get rid of him. It's about 2.20 p.m. And here's Hydrox. He's laying in the sun on a bed of leaves. He's getting some good sleep because I don't think he's been sleeping well at night since the issue with the raccoon. So last night, um, I know he was out of his shelter for a while. I think he spent some time in Ditto's shelter. He might have been walking around also, but I don't think he's really sleeping well at night anymore. I think he's mostly on guard at night. Um, so I'm happy. He is very happy right now. <laughs> he's all stretched out here in the sun. He knows it's a safe spot and it feels really good to be laying in the sun today because it feels like we have not seen the sun in a very, very long time. And I'm outside without a jacket. I just have like a sweatshirt on and I feel totally fine with just a sweatshirt and the temperature's in the fifties, but the sun is really warm. So there's Hydrox and above him, I don't know if you could see it, but there is like a wooden bench and the bench does have slats on top of it, but it does offer, you know, quite a bit of protection. And then above the bench is where I have some solar panels set up. <laughs> Look at Hijax. Now he's really comfortable. Now he's like showing his belly. Now these are two 100 watt solar panels and Grandpa Farrell helped by making a framework for them. And I have these charging two portable solar generators. I have a 500 watt power bank and a 300 watt power bank. So they charge up about 800 watts. I alternate those. So sometimes it's charging 500, sometimes it's charging 300. The reason why I do that is because it's really interesting to learn about solar energy and it's like entry level solar energy. Um, my plan is to get um, a bigger solar um, power station, which the next size up would be about a thousand watts. Um, and the power banks that I have, even though they're small, they charge all of my mobile devices, um, my phones, my tablets, um, all my chargers for my cameras. Sometimes they charge up my laptops. Um, I can charge up lights, like I have USB lights. Uh, they charge up all of my uh, portable power banks, like the smaller portable power banks that you can throw in your purse and then um, use you know, if you're traveling. And they also power some kitchen appliances, but what they've done is made me more conscious of the power I am using. So for example, I used to have 60 watt light bulbs um, pretty much all throughout the house. And then, I think it was in Michael's, they had a bunch of LED bulbs on clearance. And the good LED bulbs that have like filaments in them. Um, and they were like, I think they were $1.49 a bulb. So I ended up uh, replacing almost every light bulb in the house going from 60 watts down to 4 watts so that really adds up as far as savings so it's little things like that um, that add up over time more so than just saving 800 watts of power a day from these solar panels so over the course of the past year uh, by making small changes, I have reduced my electric bill by at least 25%. I don't think I could get my electric bill any lower than I have it now because I am working from home and because I have like so many computers and tech gear going and stuff like that. But um, this is why Hydrox has dirty fur. Some people 
say that you know his fur's not white it's really dirty this is why because he lays he lays in the dirt but look how happy he is he is so happy right now and here's ditto he's hanging out in the sun on the walkway he was hanging out on the driveway before but then he got a little bit spooked when I went to put something in the garbage can so he's just really happy here I found some packing paper in a box I received today and I just put the box out for recycling but I decided to give the cats the packing paper Simba's been enjoying it and Boo just laid down next to Simba on it so we'll see what happens and there's Stella can you see her in the scratch and roll back there she's sitting there waiting for that little crunchy feeder to dispense her some crunchies oh now she's gonna move where's she gonna go she's gonna sit on the paper also Okay, she's going to take the very end of the paper. <laughs> Three cats on the paper. I'm going to go finish doing what I was doing. I just wanted to put a camera on because I heard them playing with it. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I put the camera on and now no one wants to play. They just want to relax. Also, they're watching bird videos on the TV. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.